thank you very much, Your Worship. It's always a, <clears throat> a pleasure to uh, to be here with you and other fine members of the community. Uh, hope you're enjoying this wonderful spring day. <laughs> Councillor Sohi, it's always a pleasure. Uh, you know, as Amir mentioned, uh, we in Alberta are the only province to have a 10-year commitment. Since, uh, for example, since 2009, uh, funding for Housing First was $32 million. In last year's budget, it was up to $88 million. So we've seen very significant increases in funding for a lot of these initiatives. In this year's budget, $131 million for homeless supports, uh, which is an increase of 17%. Our challenge, though, is that we continue to have an influx of individuals from a variety of different places, and we have a very hot economy, we have a very hot re uh, real estate market, and we have low vacancies. So we continue to face challenges. We continue to face challenges with our progress, but we are making progress. Nearly 9,000 people across this province have been housed since the start of the plan. 9,000 people are now able to live on their own with some supports in some cases, but have the, the dignity of, of, of being able to, to call uh, something, a place, a home. They have the ability to, to know where they belong is a place of respect for themselves. And I think that's absolutely phenomenal. Of course, our, uh, we continue to have the important role of shelters in cases where folks do slip through 3,200 shelter beds, uh, almost 900 of those are in this city, in the city of Edmonton. But as the mayor and, and Hal discussed, you know, that shouldn't be the, the first resort. That should be the absolute last resort. When we, we, should, we should be able to prevent homelessness in the first place. That's the key. And so one of the things that I'm quite pleased about is you'll see me discussing over the next year uh, ways that we can help our young homeless population, a concentration on our homeless youth population. So we can help ensure that we can intervene early and break the cycle and help people return in, in cases where it's appropriate to family, to friends, to others, and really allow all of us in a community setting to be able to support people in need. Uh, we will have, uh, in this year's budget again, supports to, uh, funding to support almost 600 new Housing First clients across this province. Support for 100 new, uh, 100 new affordable housing units. So these are units that have been built, or that are being built, and now we're going to provide the operational funding to support these individuals uh, when they can be housed in these units. As I, talk, as I said, we have funding for our youth homelessness initiative and funding for the, a local Housing First initiatives that may come up. So we have, uh, we've got a 17% increase in this year's budget for this. But as the Mayor and Hal and others have discussed, we have uh, in front of us some significant challenges because Alberta continues to be the place to be. Alberta can, uh, besides the weather, Alberta continues, <laughs> continues to be a, a, a jurisdiction of great hope and opportunity. But when someone comes to Alberta, they're not always bringing a, a home in their backpack, nor are they bringing a doctor in their luggage, or a school isn't being FedExed over. So there's a whole series of challenges that can, that can arise with this. We, as a collective community, will continue to rise up and to, to meet these challenges as best as possible, but no one person can do it alone, and no order of government can do it alone. Uh, so I, for that, I want to thank the Mayor once again for including us, including me personally, on your uh, Edmonton Task Force on the Elimination of Poverty. I think that's, that's a great symbol of our collaboration. Uh, lastly, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody that's involved in this. I think uh, if it wasn't for the compassion that's shown on the front lines, the open hearts, the open attitude, and the continuous optimism of, of those on the front lines, 
we really wouldn't be able to achieve a heck of a lot. So to everybody that puts their hearts on the line, lives with passion, and works with those every single day that need our support, thank you. On behalf of all of us, thank you for what you do. Thank you for, for allowing us to move this forward. And thank you for giving so many hope when they need it most. Thank you.